Why, hello there. Alrighty, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do the misadventure on the sea quest. It's a level 28. It's a long one, but it's a lot of fun. I really do enjoy this mission. It's a it's a lot of fun. So let, let's go ahead and get started. We start by going to 114, negative 2176, as it shows there on my screen. And we're just going to go ahead. We're going to come inside of this bar, and we're going to stand right here next to this barman. We're going to talk to him. And we're, just, we're gonna have to just shift through all of the things. We got Honip out here. He comes in and he buys us a, a drink. Perfect, there's a drink there. Drink here. All cool, he invites us on his ship. He pays for our stuff and we're gonna go meet him on his boat. We're gonna follow the beacon out from Nemrect. Yeah, I really do enjoy this quest. It's, uh, it's kind of funny too. Alrighty. Um, especially once you see who the big boss battle fight in this quest is. I'm just going to follow him onto his magnificent ship. Look at that, and his pants mask too. This guy looks great. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go on the ship. Let's go on the adventure. Bam. Okay, and now we're in third person. And we're going to see what happens. Look, th there's a ship coming up. Whose ship is that? We don't know. I guess we're going to find out, huh? Okay, we just shift through all the things. Uh, yeah, th this takes a while. Any year now, he'll come along the side. How unfortunate for you. Bink. And we get knocked out. Kind of funny. But here we are. We read the sign. It says you pick up a small sign behind you, idiot. And bam. There he is. We shift through all his dialogue, and then we have to go clean the dead bodies. Um, there we go. Shift through all, the, and we get a sponge. The first one is right across from us, as we see here. Just right click and left click it until it works. There we go. I believe that there's one over here to the left. There we go. So there's a second body. There's. A, we come up here. There's one immediately right here. Okay, there should be a f more here. Here's another one. Four. Here's another one in the corner of the room. Five. Then we have to go up. And now that we're at five, there's going to be one right here. Tied to that C post. And then one up here hiding in the front. And that's seven out of seven. So we just, we're just cleaning for them. We're literally their prisoner. How exciting. We go up here. We talk to Ho Nip. And yep. Just talk to him real quick. The pirate comes up. Tells him about stuff. And then it looks like there's something coming on board. Oh no. Uh, shift through everything. Apparently there's a fish or something. Not exactly sure what's going on. Sitting and shifting through everything will eventually get you to this point where a ton of water comes up and this guy shows up and then we have to use our abilities on him. One, two, you can even use your jump spell. Bang. Boom. And then after five, we just shift through all the dialogue. He starts to panic, and then he runs off, bink, and he runs out. Exciting stuff. Talk to him again. He thanks us for our job, and now we have to go down for the most exciting part of this mission. They have a problem on their hands. What is that problem? Tell me. I'm here to take care of it. It's about rats. We get to clean the rats. Okay, we go in. And we have to kill the rats. And this is actually pretty hilarious. Because... Where are they at? Big rats? Look at Just look at these gigantic rats. They're crazy looking. Bam. And then, something's coming. The big one. It thuds in from the top. There it is. The Colossal Rat. And it has two lives. 
There we go, on his second life now. And we just gotta take care of the big colossal rat. This boss is actually kind of difficult, but as long as you're just running in circles or more, more walking in circles, you should not have any problems at all. And just like that, we defeat the rats and we have to grab stuff. The two things you have to, you want to make sure to grab is this, the gunpowder, and then um, the string right here, the cannon fuse. So if you have those two, you're good to go and the door will open up for you. Then we have to find a way out. And finding a way out is not too tough. All we have to do is come up here on the deck and then we have to go into his cabin and it says something about the human cannon and then we're able to use the cannon to leave we have to come all the way up to the deck whoopsies okay there we go we finally get into it after talking uh, to the captain and they're like hey have you seen the soldier no but they did a great job in the hold some gunpowder went missing though gunpowder wait a minute and then we hop out, bink, and then we're flying in the air. Whoa. Kind of cool. We shot ourselves over cell car. Yeet. Look at this. We get hit by a seagull. Ouch. We and here we are. Bink. And we land on this little island. So all we have to do is just right click everything. Right click everything. And uh, and I think after four or five of like looking at stuff. So I right click on that. It says it's a coconut. Um, and I go here. I dig up some sand. It's just soft sand. Easy as that. Okay, and then I think if we can also... Oh, there we go. And something's approaching the water. We shift through, and voila! It's Sea Skipper Captain! What's up, Sea Skipper? Our boy's here to help us. What a nice guy. There he is. We just hop on a board. And then he takes us to Selkar. Alrighty, there we go. He's just about done talking to us, and like that, once we've reached Sokar, we have completed the mission. Alrighty, and switching up here to the wiki, we have the misadventure on the sea quest. It is long. It is a long level 28 quest. Um, yes, so we start in the bar, and we start talking to the barman, who says, "Hello there, soldier. What can I get for you?" And then Honip is here, and he says, "I'll take two nem Nemrak whiskeys, one for me and one for us." So he gets one for himself and he's like, hey, you have to sail in the ocean with me. I got a fancy boat that that sea skipper. I figured you'd be interested. So we go and then we go in and then it's like, oh, wait. He's like, this is my first time sailing. It doesn't seem too difficult, though. He's like, oh, look, th there's a boat uh, out on the water today. They're a bit too head on, don't you think? That's unfortunate. Unfortunate for you. They knock us out. He says that we're finally going to work for him We're stuck with them and that we have to renovate it for him So we run around we do his work and while we're fine while we're working We find that there's a human cannon that can get us out of here We take that human cannon we get out of there. We land on that island and finally when we land on the island sea skipper is there to Sea skipper eventually finds us and then he saves us. Yeah so that is everything. There's ways of getting extra emeralds and stuff that you can find in the wiki, which is cool. But other than that, it's it's pretty much, it's just all right. Um, yeah, so that is how to complete the wiki. And what we receive when we're finished is 8,500 experience points, which is uh, finally more XP than we've had in a while. And then we get free sea skipper travel to Sokar and various ingredients and emeralds if you decide to obtain them uh, during the misadventure on sea mission, especially when you're on, when you're on the boat. Uh, yeah, so that is how to complete it. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you on the next one.